This is interesting. Password pills. Apparently you, at some point in the future, could be swallowing a pill that'll sit in your stomach and battery powered with stomach acid to produce a signal that will act as your password. The whole body will then become your password because the pill is going to resonate that signal. This, in my personal opinion, is super, super invasive. On the other hand, they are also considering tattoos, um, electronic tattoos to authenticate a user. So there's uh, this authentication sort of to make life easier. Apparently, that's what they're saying, to make it easier for people to password protect, to access content with their password because a lot of people have trouble memorizing passwords or dealing with passwords. It's a lot like keys, in my opinion. I mean, you have a bunch of keys in your home. How do you deal with it? How do you organize yourself to the point that you can deal with a home key, a car key, maybe a couple of car keys? Some cars don't have keys now. Then you might have closets. You might have other um, doors in office in, the, in an office for example you might be the person with the keys how do you manage those keys you keep them in a safe place you organize them you put them in these dongles and you make your life easier by organizing yourself with passwords a lot of people are having trouble with passwords they will have one password for everything and that is the most insecurest thing you can do. They will have one password which um, is very simple for each and every thing. So they'll have one password for something, one f password to access another site, one password for emails, but they're all simple password like a word that can easily be figured out and they store this in some notebook or something. And then there's the more highly evolved who will have different passwords that are more cryptic, and then even more highly evolved who might use some sort of password protection, maybe electronic device or something that they use to access like a USB key, different websites or something like that, some technology like that. So Google is trying to to bypass all that stigma with, oh my God, I have to remember all these passwords. Can I just have a simple way of accessing my website that doesn't take me so long? Well, apparently this could be it. What do you think? Do you think it's very invasive? Do you think that this would go? Do you think that you could go to a, um, I guess they might have Google stores by then go to a Google store and say here's ten dollars and I'll have my password pill they'll give you the password pill it'll stay in your stomach and um, all of a sudden you have become a password a walking talking breathing eating password and you are safe from all that organization that uh, worry anxiousness of oh my god which password do i use here oh no i have to create another password i have to have another password for this service for that service for facebook twitter uh, instagram and all that other stuff right all that is solved so a lot of people who want their lives to be simple might go for this i think on the other hand some people who don't feel that um, you know this is safe or could be used for something else for example who knows somebody could I'm thinking of a really extreme case here kill you and then your body becomes a password but then that would also well they could if they kill you then they would just rip the pill out I guess and then that would be it I guess unless the pill has some way of 
figuring out that it's in the right stomach. Imagine that if the pill, see, that would be even more safer is that, you know, what if you pass the pill? I'm sure they have figured this out or are working on it, is that if you swallow the pill and you have a digestive system that rejects the pill and you pass it through your body, at that point, somebody takes that pill and obviously they're going to clean it and they swallow it themselves or they don't even swallow it. They just put it into a bottle, uh, a Petri dish with acid in it and it gets powered and they use it. So they could, you could still end up compromising your security. What do you think? Do you think this is better in terms of the pill or do you think a tattoo is better or do you think that people should just get more organized and start managing their passwords?